time to play video games with JNV! Ah! Zelda! You got like two minutes to get to here. <laughs> We're not gonna edit any of this. Why? I don't know. Get off me! Ah, get the corona! Get off! The corona's got you! Oh gosh! The Backstreet Boys tour! You're on it! <laughs> That's what they called it. No, I know. That's what they called it. The Game Grum. We like the Game Grum, so. We do. Yeah, I'm do. quoting a joke of theirs. Oh, has, that's what like, they have to do because they are actually monetized and they are not technically supposed to talk about that. Oh, they're not? Well, originally YouTube was flagging anything talking about um, the virus because of the um, extreme amount of misinformation that was being spread. So oh, they, so the algorithm they, would find people that talk about it. Yes. Because people were spreading so much misinformation about it and conspiracy theories. It's a conspiracy theory! Fire be That's a conspiracy theory! We just decided, hey, we're gonna flag anyone that actually is talking about it. Whether it be just news or, I don't know, whether it be related or not. So that's why they have to just keep the code. I don't know if we're doing or not because we're not really on it. Well, we're not monetized, no, so... No, so we don't really matter. I don't think, uh... I don't know how that works. Like, I think they could try to flag our video or something, but I don't know really I, how I any of that really, works. Yeah, I mean, probably by the time we actually are monetized and they catch on to anything, if we ever are monetized, I would guess this will all be, hopefully, some really horrendous nightmare and we can move on. <laughs> yeah. This would be in the past, because let's yeah. face it, we're not going to get monetized within we're, a day here. Yeah, no, it's like, hey, remember that time five years ago where we couldn't leave the house and we had no toilet paper? Yeah. Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> yeah, now we're just dealing with the, um, the crazy, uh, killer mutated hornet people outside. You Japanese hornets? Yeah, no, I was talking shit about them all yesterday. Japanese hornets fucking spit acid? Yeah, I it's, did know that. It's the whole reason Earth Defense Force was created. That's amazing. The Japanese hornets are cool. Yeah, well, they're bad. They're bad motherfuckers. Think about it. Okay, curry. It's like, oh man. No, I just long for the days where the pandemic was just a, uh, you know, a, a virus that was terrifying, and now it's now we have to deal with killer bees. I'm more concerned with uh, people, but that's just me. Yeah. Oh, is this the boss room? Mm-hmm. Yay! Look at him, you need so cute. Holy Look at him! He's so precious. Like, hey, I'm right here. Everything's fine. Everything's okay. What? Behind me? Oh god! Oh, it's got little evil eyes! Oh, this reminds me of a really cute picture I seen. What? What <laughs> like this reminds me um, It's it's like a monster girl picture of like a Venus flytrap monster girl, but it's okay. she's she's in a dress or something and she's kind of like in the mouth of the Venus flytrap and she's like free hugs, holding up a sign that says free hugs. Yeah. Which just kind of reminded me of that, because it's the shape of the um, monster and just like a tiny little thing inside of it. That looks like, uh, that doesn't look very threatening. It's just like a little piranha thing. This thing is trippy as hell though, oh my god. Isn't this what the... Um, the fish boss kind of resembles in Ocarina of Time. I remember it having like crazy tentacles. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think that this is Yeah. Whack it! Whack it! Man, everything about this is like really trippy and looks like it would look amazing under a black light. Like, I don't know. So, we heard you 
want it to be an enemy. Well, here's your first tentacle monster fight. <laughs> Not that kind of anime! Ah! Ah! Yeah. I think after this playthrough, I'm gonna have to say we need a break, because my voice is getting tired. That's gonna be a thing, isn't it? We talk so much that your voice gets tired. I do not know how teachers do deal with that. Long lectures every day. I think some people just like the voice But wouldn't that just get tired on your vocal cords there? I would think so. I could not stand up and talk for hours on end. I could not. Well, there's nothing I really want to talk about for that long. Yeah. Say that certain people are not interested. Oh, shit. What happened? Oh. I got turned around. You got turned around. I... Damn it! Oh, did he eat you? Of course he ate me. He's been eating me every time. Oh, God. Shit's like me every day. <laughs> I just realized um, I'm gonna have to leave the computer run for quite some time to process all this capture that we did. Right? Oh no. Oh, we don't have it on like uh, we don't have a souped up mega computer. One day we might. Might be the thing to invest in. Get us both souped up mega computers when we make it, you know? Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Oh, okay. I thought you had to, like, fight the little head now. No, I actually don't try to fire. How dare you! Man! Yeah, beat the... Beat the flower! You beat the flower so Yeah! It looked like a... A plant boss that wanted to be a water boss. Probably. That's what it looked like to me. Uh, I don't know how they decide what actually gets chosen, how things go. I don't know. Swordsman, are you the one who rescued me? You have my thanks. When all went dark around me, I thought my time on this earth was over. Aww. But why are you here, Swordsman? What?! The great day Kutri sent you. <laughs> oh, that's right. Today's the day of our annual ceremony. Oh, I'm in trouble. I shouldn't be here. I must get out of here immediately. Like, yeah, yeah, dude. Like, you are in trouble. Let's go, quick guy! <laughs> quick before I get a spanking! <laughs> My poor wooden booty. <laughs> he probably is like, oh no, dad's gonna get so mad at me. Like, so much like if Pinocchio was still like a wooden puppet and Geppetto ended up spanking him for being naughty, would Geppetto get like splinters? I don't know. Does would Pinocchio even really feel it? Oh, hello! Here I am, triumphant with your child. Here you I go. just want to know why Geppetto gave Pinocchio a wooden ass. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> How Makari ever turn safely? Some more disturbing questions. Yeah, why? Why do you think why did you make, did all this stuff? Why? Why? Why'd you make this little boy am, anatomically correct? Um, the officer says. To oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry, Great Day Country. I know you warned us many times, but still, I did not listen. <laughs> do not worry, Makari. You are safe now. Just be more careful from now on. Okay, that's like if I just rescued your child out of a burning vehicle, and your response is, Oh, it's fine. Just be a little bit more careful. <laughs> You've done well, Link. I must thank you for your brave deeds. Here is that which I promised you. Please accept it. Mm. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Gimme, gimme, gimme. It's a pearl! A pearl! A shiny pearl! It is the orb. You receive the you must not tell pearl. Miles. The earth spirit, <laughs> the Deku tree, has seen fit to give it to give you this jewel, a treasure of the goddess Fiori. 
It is my hope that this pearl shall lead you to a fair destiny. No, it won't, but okay. <laughs> All is well, Makar. Do not cry. Please, play your song for me as you always do. Well, that's right. We must begin our ceremony soon before the day ends. Well, it's nighttime, so whatever. Uh, I'm sorry to keep you all waiting. Let the ceremony begin. Do, do, do. I love his little cello. He's so cute. Oh, great, Link. As my thanks to you, I shall play even harder than I normally do. I hope you enjoy it. I love him. He's so cute. Aww. Didn't you say you had a cello? No, my brother played cello. I played viola. Viola. They're so cute. Things are getting creepy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no! What has t I what feel is like happening? I feel like we're witnessing something we shouldn't see. Yeah. <laughs> Now that you've seen what should never be seen, you must become one of us now, Link. And they drag him down. Start stuffing him with nuts. Great day, Tree. This year you have once again produced some splendid seeds. With these seeds, we will continue to spread new forests across the great sea. Let us go, Kuroks, to the sea! See you all next year. Take care! Farewell, great swordsman. May the winds of chance bring us together again someday. Oh, you'll be seeing me. Just running around with their little Bye. nuts between their legs? <laughs> no, they eventually do plant them. Oh, okay. We, we do come across them later on. So oh, neat. Like a side quest to do. Do we help them plant their nuts? Why does that Melanie kind of remind me of a Chinese restaurant? Mm, I don't know. You know what I kind of miss? What? Chinese buffets. Oh, yeah. What? We only had, like, one around here, though. Uh, we had a couple. Um, and I don't even know if it's still a buffet. It's which, like which a one? hibachi grill now. Which one? Uh, Shogun's. That's not a buffet, is it? No, it used to be. It used to be, like, a Ming's or whatever. Yeah, I miss that. Means is still over. Yeah, I know. I used to go there a lot. Back in the day. Like um, dancing mailbox. Don't we have one in East Peoria? What? Uh, like a. Uh... It used to be. I don't really know if it is anymore. Hmm. I know they have like ramen bowls. Do they have ramen bowls there? I don't know. I they never have, been. Like, pho. Is it hmm. pho? The, the Vietnamese stuff. I'm not sure that took. I have no idea. Dear Link, if you are reading this letter, it can only mean you've peeked in one of our many post boxes. I am indebted to you. I am very sorry I let you leave without thanking you. Please accept my heartfelt apology along with my thanks. Is this medley? No. Oh. We can not do much to help you. Thanks. And we can, but we can at least do this. If we get any letters or parcels for you, we will deliver them to a post box near you. If you see any wiggling post boxes, please look inside them. Aww. I suppose you have a long way to go before your perilous journey is done. I've included a gift for you with my letter in the hope that it might help you. Please accept the small token. I look forward to the day that we meet again. May fortune fill your wings from Molly's father. Oh. Oh, the chief gave me something. Oh, cool. That's sweet. Yep. The chief. So this place too has been attacked by Ganon. Could he already be regaining his power? I think it's obvious, yes. <laughs> Link, he must get the remaining pearl. He lies in a place northwest of Oh, yeah, here. there's only three. You only got one left. Must set sail immediately. Isn't, the, isn't there a pearl on, like, the island you started on? Oh. Isn't is that the last pearl? Um, technically, but it's not. Like technically, the pearl is supposed to be over here because that's where Lord Jabba Jew is at. Or J Jabba Jew? I don't know. J Jabba Jew. Jabba Jew. <laughs> Jabba the Jew. Jabba. Is it Jabba Jew or? No, it's Jabba the Jew. <laughs> From Star Wars. <laughs> He's Jabba the Hutt's... Um. Brother, twice removed! Okay. Yeah, I am. I'm facing the right way, so I should be able to. Yeah. 
just imagining ja- Jabba the Hutt with like a little like, um, what is that thing that Jewish hat? A yarmulke. A yarmulke wearing a yarmulke. Jabba the Jew. Jabba the Jew. Okay, okay. That's, That's what I thought you said. Jab, I think it's Jabba Jew, is it not? Jabba that, the may, Jew. May, is, and then I think of Jamba Juice. Jamba Juice. Jamba Juice. <laughs> I can think of some fun edits to put in the oh end of God. this. I, I thought it was Lord Jabba Jew. Is that not right? I don't know. Jabon? Lord Jamon. Lord Jabba Juner. <laughs> Jing Jang. I don't know either. I thought it was Jabba Jew. Yeah. Well, I'm sure I'm wrong. But you probably are. I don't know. It's one of those things where it's like, I feel like I know it in my head, and alas, I do not. Mm. So is that like a mini mini game that they put in there for you? What? To make traveling okay. funner? To make it funner? Um, yeah, the little barrels that I pop up. I don't know if it's meant to like make it more fun, but... Challenging. Try to get some bait out. Just in case. Yeah. Just in case you run into fish nips. Is that just gonna be his name, fish nips? I don't know. What do you want to name him? It's what like, is his name? It's like fish tits. But fish it's tits. It's not very nice. Hmm. Wonder if that's what they call mermaids. Fish tits. Fish tits, like if it was a like a sexist macho term that they call mermaids, like, hey there, fish or fish tits. Where is he? Like uh, like the fox calling the mermaids from the from the boat. What? I don't know. <laughs> Got this thing in my head where it's all like um, you know, like the construction workers and their cat calling. Oh, yeah, but instead the construction workers are like on a boat. Like on the mass or whatever, and they're just <laughs> sitting there, and they go across the mermaid, and they're like, Hey, fish tits! Yeah. Yeah, they're sexually harassing them. Yeah, they're sexually harassing the mermaids. Oh, what island is that? Private Oasis. Private Oasis? Yeah. Hmm. Better not step on it. It's private property. It is for now. What, are you gonna, like, get the deed to it or something? Yeah. Really? Yeah. In this game, you get a deed to an island? Yeah. You own your own island? Yes. Oh, cool. So you get to, like, put, put like, a hotel on it? <laughs> Maybe a, even a casino? A casino? Why would I want a casino? Just think of it. Um... The Hero of the Wind Casino. <laughs> Bright lights. <gasps> ghost ship. Ghost ship? I guess ghost ship. Uh, oh, wait. Never mind. Werewolf ship? I was going to say. I see a full moon. moon. Yeah. Do you know where you're going? Yes. Okay. Ye of little faith. Wonder if you'll make it before the end of this episode. You got like two minutes to get to here. <laughs> We're not gonna edit any of this. Why? I don't know. You got like two minutes to get to your destination. <laughs> what are those flying things you're heading towards? Oh. Are they... Test questions. Are they scary monster fish? They are scary monster fish. Hi, seagull! That is a seagull. Look at this, look at their little shadows. And that is a scary Oy! monster fish. Right over there in the corner. That is. So, what's this island called? Southern Triangle Island. Oh, okay, Southern Triangle Island. Oh, I get it, like the Bermuda Triangle. Kinda, yeah. Is that what the spoof is? A famed photographer lives far to the north here on Windfall Island. He apparent he's apparently really wise and talented in the ways of pic pic 
photography. Photography. Oh he yeah, said you to have legendary box. pictographs that he treasures above all other things. He keeps them hidden away in a secret safe, or so they say. By the way, small fry, what exactly is a pictograph anyway? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm so wise and I know stuff. By the way, what's this? It's the thing that's gonna take your job. Because he he draws maps. Yeah, that's true. Now, now people can take pictures. People still need problems, though. It's not like they can get Google image. <laughs> yeah, this is a, a little bit more complicated. That would be like if they dropped an R roll and be like, um, what's internet? Internet? What is an internet? Internet. Is it some kind of fishnet? <laughs> that would be terrifying. Yeah, that would be weird. It's like, okay, what if you talk to somebody from like 1970? Yeah talked about the internet. Yeah, it's like, that would just be the weirdest thing to try to describe to somebody from the past. I'm the, sure it probably sounds like pure science fiction. Be like, yeah, yeah, I was about to say, they would probably think you're just talking a bunch of science fiction. No. Sure, and then we're gonna have flying cars. We don't. We no, still don't. We, don't. we I we seen people tent, attempt to make flying cars, but there's no commercialized flying cars that you can get. It's kind of depressing. They have jetpacks though I think they have jetpacks yeah I'm pretty sure we have jetpacks is there a commercial jetpack you can buy now can you buy a jetpack you can buy an your own jetpack starting spring 2017 so you could have bought it um, 2017 you have to be a well qualified to buy. Take uh, a look. Like what? Like I have to like have good credit? <laughs> I guess you have to have enough money to buy one and you have to have like a license of some kind. Uh-huh. Who's the stupid fish? Fishy! Fishy! Oh, wow, we can buy like an airplane for almost $7,000. Oh, I want my private a private jet instead. I'd rather have a private jet than man yeah, Which would you rather have people? A private jet or a rocket launcher? Oh no, it wasn't a rocket launcher. <laughs> what is the cheapest aircraft you can buy? Well, we'd also have to find some Buy personal airplanes you can buy for less than $30,000 YouTube. Cessna 150. <laughs> I still would rather have a private jet. I just think about it, it's like I don't have to deal with people on commercial flights anyway. Possible? I hate, I hate, de I hate flying just from having to deal with other people. They're so rude if you want an airplane. I don't know if I could deal with, like, flying around in some sort of aircraft. It would be scary. What do you mean? Like a private aircraft, or...? Like, say for instance, if I own something... I don't know... I'm trying to look it up. Like, whatever this is. Say for instance, if I own, like, something like that, where it looks like you just kind of sit there and you fly around. No, I... No, I that don't. would be scary. No, that's too scary. No, I mean like a private jet. Like somebody ah! else would fly it for you? Yeah. Like a All professional right. would fly it. Help! What the heck's going on? Look, Link, don't you see it? What has happened to this place? That's a dot. Is that... Great what? Fish Isle! What is that place? Oh! Is that where Lord Jumba Jumba or Jabba Jabba used to be? <laughs> What's the meaning of this? The island? It is... We are too late. I knew we had precious little time, but I never suspected how little. Great water spirit named Jaboon. Jaboon. Okay, it's Jaboon. Once lived here, but there's no sign he remains. Hoi there, Link! Oi! Oh my gosh! Hi! Why are you flying around in the storm, dude? Yeah, he needs to, like, not do that. 
Well, you shouldn't be selling in it either. Hmm. True. So you're here. I've been looking for you. Well, clearly not that hard. <laughs> Are you by chance seeking the great spirit Jaboon? Jaboon. Jaboon, yeah. yeah Jaboon is his Lord name. Oh, where did I get that from? I don't know. I'm sorry to report to you that Jaboon can no longer be found here. Just look at, at how this place has been torn to pieces. I suppose this too is the work of the shadow in the Forsaken Fortress. But fear not, Jaboon was able to flee this island before it was attacked. He is in a safe abode now. Would you like to guess where that abode might be? On the island where you were born. I onset! Outset, excuse me. <laughs> Why does your face do I that? I don't know. Like, whoa, no! Yet, even if you were to go to Outset now, you would not be able to see Jaboon. The cave where he hides is sealed with a mighty stone slab that repels all who try to pass it. Why, not even the pirates with their mighty ship could get in. I must apologize, Link. I thought if anyone would know of your whereabouts, it would be the pirates. I told them this tale without so much as a thought of the consequences. I don't know what they hoped to get, but they immediately set sail for Outside Island and tried to break into the cave. God, he's such a bad mouth. Oh, it no. is lucky they could not gain entrance. I have heard that they were last spotted on Wind Windfall Island, but doing what, I do not know. If you wish to see Jaboon, I think you'd better search for the pirates on Windfall Island. Oh, that's what, why you go back there. Yeah, what an eerie isle this is. Everywhere else boasts clear skies and calm seas, but this place suffers under dark clouds and rain. Baloo must have been right when he asked me to bring you bring word of Jaboon to you. He called this island cursed. Oh, that sucks. I would counsel against staying here longer than you have to. It but that like this device isn't registered. <laughs> Shut up. Find setup instructions in the help <laughs> I, I will get on that later. <laughs> but that is your decision. Speaking of curse. <laughs> <laughs> I have told you of Jaboon, so my task is complete. That's like my new catchphrase now. What? When something isn't working right, I just call it cursed. Anyway, uh, that is an episode. Awesome. Yeah, that was long. Anyway, uh, next next time on JV Gamers, we will continue our quest to see Lord Jaboon. 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 Oh, geez, he looks exhausted already. Anyway, yeah. we will see you next time for that great sea adventure. Hopefully, we'll not have to deal too much with the pirates. Yeah. God willing. Well, we shall see you next time. Be safe, wash your hands, and... Be good to each other. Be good to each other. Like and subscribe, or I might surely wither and die. Those are uh, the things we're saying right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's your sign-off. Like yeah. and subscribe, or I shall surely die. And wither. And wither and die well. Yes. I don't want to wither. Yeah. Well, we'll see you guys later. Bye!